developing an online platform for CSL, CFL teachers and learners. And our presenter is Tulin Wu, who is Administration Manager, Chinese E-Learning Center for the National Open University of Taiwan. So welcome and please begin. Hello, thank you. Okay, hello everyone. Ni hao. Oh, that's great. I'm just curious how many of you can speak Chinese. So does it mean can I present, present in Chinese? Really? <laughs> I'm just, I heard, I heard some of you are curious about uh, learn Chinese, right, uh, in, a, in a previous presenter, and here I am. We are, well, I'm going to present the Chinese learning in, the, in our platform, okay? So before we talk about this, let's go back to the topic. You, know, you all know the topic, developing an online platform for Chinese uh, CSL and CFL teachers and learners, okay? Here is the, my first question. Okay, CSL, what is that? Ah, that's great. Chinese as a second language. So, uh, of course, CSL would be Chinese as a foreign language. So it means uh, we want to build a platform for both learners and instructors, which means learner, uh, students and teachers. Okay, so we want to know each of them, what do they need, and we provide them the service. Okay, so... Before we continue our, but before I continue the, the these things, I want to I ask you, if you are learning Chinese, what would you need? If you are a Chinese learner, Chinese is your second language or foreign language. What do you need in on, on, online? A Chinese boyfriend or girlfriend. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, so you can chat online. That that's one thing. Anything else? You are a learner. To hear, so you need, so you need to listen, a China, uh, maybe a native speaker online to speak to you. That's great. Anything else? A virtual environment. Oh, the environment. Interactive. You can interact with native. Anything else? They are, they are great students. <laughs> I wish they can learn Chinese with me. Okay, so that's the student part. How about the teacher's part? What do teachers need? Does any language teacher here? Oh, I'm lonely. Oh, you are? Uh, which, uh, what language do you teach? Japanese. Ah, Swati. No, 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 Swati. Ah, ba, ba. Konnichiwa. Okay, so what, what the language teacher need online? What can I provide to them? Support. What kind of support? What, sorry? Technical support. Okay, so maybe that would be kind of like grandma. Grandma teaching, ask you to teach you how to teach grandma, if that you think. So you are teaching about a kind of tech, technical? Okay, that's one thing. Anything else? Mental support. Wow. Uh, I don't think we can <laughs> do that kind of thing. Yeah, the content. I, the, the content would be, would be a very important thing because actually most of people are thinking Chinese is a difficult language. So Chinese, the, the grammar, the Chinese character, or even do we just talk about simplified traditional script, that would be one thing. And also the pronunciation, right? Okay, so we want to use our platform to give the Chinese teacher overseas or even in Taiwan, give them support. What kind of support? Anything. Okay. Uh, so here's our, uh, and here's the problem. Why we are doing this? Why are we trying to do this? Okay, here's a short history about uh, National Open University, about our center. I'm from the uh, Chinese e-learning center of National Open University. Okay, in 2010, Eight to 2010, okay, uh, National Open University was uh, holding this, Zhonghua Correspondence School. Okay, so which means overseas Chinese, they can use this resource to learn Chinese, to learn anything, maybe to learn cook, kind of that thing. Okay, so that was held by government, but uh, the government asked National Open University to do these things. 
Okay, but this, but the correspondent well, the correspondent school was end in 2016. So after that, National Open University, we are thinking, we have the resource, we have the we have all the things we can make great course for overseas. So we want to continue the things. So after that, we ha we have an international promotion office. We trying to keep. We trying to continue to make good course for overseas. And until this year, Chinese e-learning center was established. So here's our mission. Let me show you the, the two things of in Taiwan. This is, okay. This is the figure that was from Ministry of Education in Taiwan, okay. So in here you will see, we, have, we separate this, the, the, uh, the things in two parts. The first part is for Chinese learner. So here you can see, let me use this. Which one is the pointer? The, the second, second one? one? Okay. So as you can see, this is Chinese language, uh, Chinese language center in Taiwan. Okay, so the first bar is the Chinese language center who serve online course. The second one is Chinese language center who cooperate with department in university. Department of Chinese, Department of Chinese as a language, uh, second language, Department of Chinese literature, anything. Okay, and the third part is the Chinese language center who work with the government. So in this part, you can see actually the online course for China, uh, of Chinese language center are only 5.4%. 5. 5. That's very low. And let's look at the next one is for the teacher. Okay, so here's the part for the teacher. Also, the same thing, the first part, the department, I mean the Department of Chinese as a second language, so the department will train the teacher, train the student to be the Chinese teacher, that kind of department. So this is the department who serve online course. This is the department who work, who cooperate with other departments, and this is the department who work with the government, okay? So as all this you can see, online course only 6.3%. So that's as well very low. So National Open University, our mission, our most important mission is we want to make a platform for both, for Chinese training and also for Chinese course. So for the learners and for the trainers. Here comes the problem, how do we do? Of course, we make course, but what kind of course? So in Taiwan, we have a test for Chinese that is called TOCFL, test of Chinese something, T-O-C-F-L, that's the test for Chinese learners. Okay, so we follow the test, we follow the TOCFL test, and we use the TOCFL test for our content to teach Chinese. So far, uh, and this TOCFL test was follow from European CEFRs, so they do have A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. So the beginner will be A1. So now, uh, so far we already finished the, uh, the, the lesson, it's A1 and A2 course. Later I will show you the course looks like. And here, so this is for the learner's part. Here for the teacher's part, we have more support than students because we think Chinese teachers are very, Chinese teaching actually is a very hard working. So here, as you see, uh, we have, the first one is digital, digital Chinese, uh, that would be digital teaching Chinese or media teaching Chinese, multimedia, kind of that. So that will follow the technical problem, okay? And the second course, this is teaching pedagogical and uh, of course introduction for teaching Chinese as a second language, Chinese speaking, and express, and uh, that will be cultural, society, and the linguistic. So this kind of course we serve to the Chinese teacher to help them training. Okay, so let's look, let's look at our, our platform will look like this. This is our Chinese e-learning 
iCampus, the, this is the course looks like. And here you will see that actually we're trying to use the MOOCs model to do our course. But MOOCs is massive open course, but we, we don't have massive course. So we will just call them online course, online platform. So you will see every teacher here. And let me show you one of the, one of the course. This is A1 course for Chinese learner. It will look like this. Uh, I think it's okay. Uh, let me. Okay, so of course this is Chinese class and uh, the part is dialogue. So the first part will be dialogue. That's very important for Chinese learning. Okay, so when we pronouncing when the instructor pronouncing, and of course here we'll show you, and we'll give you some hint to express. So after listen, and you speak, and this is the vocabulary, and we do the grammar points like, oh, you want to learn? Great. 是. 是. Chai. 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 Chai mai? Mai. Oh, my chai. Ah, that's great. Okay, so here will comes the grammatic, grammatical part. So we combine the vocabulary and grammatical together. So after you learn some vocabulary and continue to grammatic, to continue to grammar. Oh, yeah, I do think so. <laughs> okay, and... So this is the vocabulary, a, a dialogue, vocabulary, and grammar. And so here comes the next problem. How do we ask students to practice? This is only a video, right? We want to ask students to practice. How do I do? How do we try to do? So here's the thing. Okay, also oh, it's your turn, so practice, and this is the, the first part. And the second part we practice, we use in video code to ask students to enter the one and two and three. So in here, the student will hear a statement, and they need to encode one, two, three in our platform. So we will continue. We will speak the statement twice, and after that, he need to write. The he or she need to write. The learners need to write. So which one is the second? Which one is the second? The right one, yeah. Japanese, yes, you heard that. Okay, and this is the practice part. And we do have another model for practice. And after practice, in each lesson, in each lesson, we try to give the student one point of cultural points, the, we, we call it Chinese corner or Chinese cultural corner. So each lesson we find a, co a Chinese culture for students. So in lesson one, the, the Chinese culture will be last name and family name. The given name, last name, the, the, the position different. Okay, so this is uh, I just show you the one kind of practice, and let me quick show you the next kind of practice. Mei Mei, Mei is Taiwan. Li, what name is? 
Okay, so watch the video and you have to put a circle or an X. So all you need to do is you can put a circle or an X. You can choose from the platform, from the video. So after you listen to that and hear four statements, you need to choose circle or X. Yes? Example of Thai? That's a good example. Okay. Thank you. I will I will add it. <laughs> I need to add it. You're welcome. Okay, and after that I will I will correct each statement with the student. That is our lesson looks like for the Chinese learners. Okay, then another is how do we do our course for Chinese teacher? Let me show you this is汉语类型与特征，那么在呃课程介绍的部分呢，我已经大致大致上说明了汉语的类型特征是必须通过比较才能够了解我们课程在讲其他的语言，其他的语言，其他的语言，其他的语言，其他的语言，其他的语言，其
。哦，那你的中文一定很好。神，神经病吗？我又不是教中文的。我也没说我是教英文的、啊。So I want to use some funny、uh, or interesting topic to. 去喝一杯啦！要准备准备，准备准备。有什么好准备的啊？你每天都讲中文，可是发音、近义词和语法要讲清楚。还得学课堂。Oh, you speak Chinese. You must be a Chinese teacher. Something like that. 就好了。只拿了，把书完了，马虎吉嘎呼。你这是什么东西啦？不是说讲慢一点你就听得懂吗？ Because in YouTube, the videos are better in within five minutes. 张老师，春节快到了，麻烦你教学生剪纸。哎，张老师，元宵节快到了，麻烦你教学生做一下灯笼。哎，张老师，下礼拜是端午节，你就教学生包粽子吧。哎，江老师，明天是中秋节，那个我知道，作为别人讲义，我已经准备了。Every Chinese culture。呃呃，不是，我本来想说，你可以带学生去广寒宫参观一下。哎，你是华语老师，你可以教一下字典吗？你知道吗？有一种东西叫字典。哎，嗯。你是华语老师，帮我翻译。That is all real story。那你知道吗？有一种东西叫做翻译，麻烦花钱找翻译社，谢谢。你是华语老师对不对？对。你可以教我一个外国朋友说中文吗？你知道吗？有一种东西叫学校，还有一种东西叫补习班。吼、哦，你是华语老师。这下可以帮我了吧？这个可以帮我写成罗马拼音吗？好，没问题，这是我的专业，我可以帮你。好。That is real. A lot of people think Chinese teacher like foreigner, so they teach in Chinese. 我觉得还好啦。哪有？可以每天和外国人混在一起，多棒啊！可是这是工作啊！哎、欸，那你帮我介绍一个你的学生嘛？条件不高，只要身高超过一百八十公分，会说中文，爱运动，又会煮饭。等一下，小姐，你的条件也太多了吧？而且我是老师，不是媒人，更不是花痴。那既然你不喜欢外国人，为什么要当华语老师呢？那你？要不要问为什么医生要当医生？他喜欢病人吗？哦，你看你上次写的拼音写错啦，旅行社给的跟你给的不一样。不是啊。你说罗马拼音，这是罗马拼音啊。罗马拼音指的是用罗马字母拼出发音的方式，不限定于哪一种类型。一般常见的有通用拼音、汉语拼音，还有国语注音第二式，这些都是很常见的。你又没有跟我说你要哪一种罗马拼音。Okay, so this is the way I'm trying to promote for Chinese teachers. I use the Way of you in YouTube channel. Okay, so here's my part, and if you have any question, we can leave it to the discussion part. Thank you very much. Copen Club. <laughs>